the, the field of cancer is going to lead people in its mode of action. At AACR meetings, young investigators sit side by side with some of the world's foremost cancer researchers, breaking bread and building bridges. I had a mentoring lunch today, and one of the things that happens at such lunches is that all the people at the table, they can all regard each other now as a network. They've now met each other, and they can be resources for each other, as well as having you know, um, opportunities to talk with more senior scientists like myself. From the lectures to the poster presentations, new ideas bloom and collaborations begin. A lot of times after the lecture and we're all sort of milling around, you begin to sort of think through the research that you heard or how it impacts your own research and you start formulating new questions and you know you definitely continue that experience. It's not isolated to just the room and the lecture. The energy from the ACR meeting for me comes from the unexpected. You walk by a poster, you see something you never realized existed. You get an idea based on something uh, that, that uh, an individual presents. Of course, there's a lot of fam familiarity. I, I know many people at the meeting. I go and see the familiar faces, the, the usual talks. But every now and again, I see something that's totally surprising. That's the part that gives me energy and makes me want to keep coming back and, and actually <laughs> then hurry home and do more experiments. <laughs> It could be the picking up a piece of information in a formal talk, or it's just as likely to happen in the hall when you bump into people and you start discussing and you realize that maybe you have a potential collaboration between you. Uh, and that's what these meetings are intended for. And that's why we have a range of meetings in AACR, from the biggest to smaller meetings where individual uh, topics are discussed. Uh, and, and it works in that way. So again, it's all about collisions. Uh, and uh, I could give you a myriad of them that have occurred over my career. Don't be afraid to take risks, because I think, like Jim Watson taught me that, right? You could have two projects in the lab. One project could be the kind of safe thing, right, <laughs> that you do, right? But, but the other one ought to be asking the question that you're almost afraid to ask. You know, what is the cause of this? How, do, how does this really AACR meetings, it's accelerating cancer research, promoting <laughs> science, education, and training, Advancing cancer prevention, diagnosis, and treatment throughout the world.